Good morning, beautiful people. I'm here early with the word. I was on my way to work, y'all, and I was listening to um, an old album <laughs> that I used to listen to years ago um, by Bizzle, and the name of the song is Royalty. So this message is really directed towards the women, but men, I mean, I guess you can probably you know pick something up from this too but i can only speak from a woman perspective like women if you're out there right now and you're giving yourself away to somebody for free god said your body belongs to him okay your body belongs to him it does not belong to the man that you're sleeping with that you're not married with okay it doesn't belong to your boyfriend it doesn't belong to your girlfriend god i'm i'm driving so y'all may hear me you know my little blinkers um going off or whatever um but still we gonna get this word out okay so you need to save yourself and this is not even just coming from a place of because i did it no this is coming from a place of because i wish i would have done it okay the times when i would be in relationships y'all and i'm not talking about just one i'm talking about more than one feeling like i'm losing my mind because i'm tied to somebody who is who was, you know, manipulating me. I'm giving my all to this person and they're sitting up here playing with my mind, playing with my emotions. Sometimes I couldn't sleep. Sometimes I couldn't eat because I wasn't patient enough to wait on the person that God had for me. I was not patient enough. And if I knew what I knew now, if I knew that God was going to send the person that was really for me, baby, I would have waited. I would have waited. Um, and in the song, he was like, he don't want to be a husband, with, but want you to be everything a wife should be. Y'all, baby, I play stepmama. I play wifey. I played a lot of things just to have to, you know, not even pressure, but just let this person know like, hey, I want to be married. I want to do what's right. I want I want to do what's right in the kingdom. You know, you telling this person that you want to be married. That man that God has for you, he know he's going to know like, hey, I have to marry this woman. I'm going to have to marry this woman in order for me to fully enjoy her in the way that God said that we should be able to enjoy each other. And it's going to be more than just sex. I'm not even just talking about sex. That man knows because he walks in the, he works out the principles of God. He walks out the word of God. So if you're with somebody right now, you you know what I'm talking about when you have to say, hey, I want to be married. I want to be married. But you giving him your body. You playing step mummy. You playing wifey roles. You washing his clothes. You cooking for him. You making sure he's happy at night because y'all staying together. Be for real. Be for real. And y'all, when I'm saying this stuff, I'm not just saying it because, because I'm just preaching, you know, something that in that's in the Bible. No, I'm telling y'all from experience. If I knew what I knew now, if I knew that God was going to bring this man in my life that I am so grateful for, the one who sees my true value, who sees the favor of God on my life, <laughs> who knows that this is my wife, this is my wife. I'm not even just talking about in the terms of sex. I'm talking about all over. He knows your spirit. He knows your, he's going to know your worth. Don't be out here being a wife to somebody who's not trying to be a husband. Okay. And I had to get this out for the ladies because when I was singing that song, that I used to cry to this song all the time after I realized that a man was not valuing me. And I was giving myself to him emotionally. I'm crying. I'm being on the steering wheel. Y'all, I'm doing all that. We arguing. I'm feeling like I'm losing my mind because he ain't listening to me. He's not understanding me. Like, nah, I'm not saying that in relationships, even God relationships, like you're not going to have misunderstandings. You're not going to feel, you're not, you're not always going to feel loved. He's not always going to feel respected, but that's, but because you guys walk in Christ Jesus, this Holy Spirit is going to convict you. The Holy Spirit is going to put it on your mind, like or on your heart. Like, Hey, you need to work on this area and people, people that is not walking with God, they're not going to get that type of conviction. Okay. Y'all just going to be looking stupid. You're going to be looking stupid. You're going to be trying to fight. Whoever, whatever that he's entertaining, you're going to be trying to fight him. Lord Jesus, like it was so, it was so toxic for me because I wasn't being patient. I wasn't waiting on God. I went through so much heartbreak. I put myself in situations that I shouldn't have. I stayed in situations for too long that I shouldn't have because I wasn't being patient with God. I was not being patient with God. So women, like I said, my overall message is don't be out here being a wife to somebody who is not even trying to be a husband and men you can flip this around i just can't talk about it from your point of view because i'm i'm a woman i can only speak from my point of view but don't be i i will say don't be out here being a husband to somebody 
who ain't trying to be a wife to you, okay? Because trust me, it's some women out there that is dedicated to the Lord who is waiting for a godly man. Who is waiting for a godly man. So y'all be blessed. I love y'all. God loves y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll probably see y'all later because I do plan on doing my podcast today. But um, if not, y'all have a blessed day.